Hi guys, this is Garth Holman from TeachersForTomorrow.net and this is part of the series um, helping teachers move from a face-to-face -to, -face to a remote classroom. This class um, today, or this little quick tutorial, I'm going to give you an overview of Google Sites. Google Sites is a web page builder. Um, it's, this is a great way to share information with kids and to get work out to kids um, and to create a, at least a place for you to have a access to get kids all the information they may need. If you're in a remote world, you're going to need a place like this, whether it be a site or it be Google Classroom is the other option we're going to provide tutorials for. But you need some way to electronically get stuff to kids other than just email. Um, so Sites is a great way to do it. This little tutorial is just an overview trying to get you to understand what Sites can do. So this is a site I use in my grad class. Um, tons of things can be done with this and it's relatively simple to build um, compared to other kind of softwares. You know, you can have links to your Google Photos, which um, obviously you may or may not need for this. I was trying to give people an idea of who I was. You know, you can have slideshows, Google Slides, another way you can present information that is available online and you can click through and it works. Um, you can have images with links to assignments people have to do that they can go do. So it's easy to do a Google Doc where they have work to do. Um, you can have Google Forms uh, linked or embedded, depending on how you want them. So you can get collect information from kids or students what, about what they need or whatever you may have. I don't know what's popping up here. Um, so this is kind of it. You know, I'll just take a look at one other piece. Um, this is nice to see that you can embed video. So you can put video directly in. That video will play directly inside your web page so you can add a video you want the kids to watch. Um, you can add links to websites. You can give examples. So there's a lot you can do with Google um, Sites. And I would say compared to many other things that you, you might want to learn, this is a relatively simple one. So let's just get started on the tutorials.